Alright, I'm going to show you how to edit together videos using Windows Movie Maker. First, you're going to find it on your Vista computer by going to All Programs and looking at the top above the uh, folders here. It should be in here under the Windows Programs. Once you find that, open it up. And there should be a blank area here to the left. And this is where you're going to import clips, which you're going to edit together and eventually be able to drag into order on your storyboard here um, and preview with the screen on the side. I'm going to see if I can find you a sample video to start showing. Alright, I've plugged the memory card for my video camera into the outlet on my computer and this should be the window that pops up. What you want to do is open folder to view files and then there should be a video folder and then these are all separate dates of filming. And on my camera, it may be different on yours, most likely is. This is what the format is for showing the clips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Windows Movie Maker and have it minimized. Here's my sample video here that I'm going to use to show you some features. And what you do is you have it so that you can see both areas. You want to make sure that this blank area where you put the clips is able to be seen. And then you just drag the clips in here. And just drag and drop. Oops. You just drag your drop drag and drop your clips in there. Alright, I'm going to use this butterfly clip as a sample. You see if I click on it and press play, it shows a sample of the video in this box. What I want to do is add this clip to my video. So I'm going to drag it down into this empty square. These squares right here, between the clip squares, are different. These are for showing transitions between clips. Alright, one of the first things you're going to want to do with your video is maybe add a title. So you're going to click on Titles and Credits right here. That's taking a minute there. And then you want a title at the beginning. And what this does is pretty simple. This box here at the top, um, you type the text and it will show big letters in the center of the screen. And this area will be sort of subtitles. So I'm just going to say, title and subtitle, and it'll show you a preview of your title over here. You can change the, t the animation and the font and color of this, but I'm just going to leave it how it is. And I'm going to add that, and as you see it ad automatically adds as another clip at the beginning of your video. Now I'm going to show you transitions click on transitions and there's all of these different transitions that you can use to switch between slides. I'm just going to use the shadow right as an example and what it does is it over here shows an example of what it's going to do between your two clips using sample pictures. So what you want to do once you find the one that you want you click and drag into the box right here. So I'm just going to click and drag Alright, so now, if I play it, it's going to show my title, and then the transition into my first clip. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you how to add credits and subtitles to your clips. I'm going to start with subtitles, which, to do this, you just put title overlay on the selected clip and this will it's the same format as creating our title for the video for the beginning of the video big text is up here and subtitles is at the bottom so I'm going to label the clip butterfly because that's what it's showing in the clip so let's make sure it's playing here there we go and here's my example on the side and I'm simply going to add the title alright what it's just done here is it's changed from 
timeline to timeline from storyboard. It started as storyboard here, and this is what we saw at the beginning, and then changed to timeline because this right here is the overlaying subtitle. Now what you can do here is you can move it if you want it to show later in the clip. Another another pretty cool feature while we're on the, the timeline format is being able to cut your clips. You can shorten them from either side maybe like if you're filming a sports video maybe you want to cut out certain parts um, to like show like the ends of the clip changed. So all you have to do is you click at the end and I'm holding down the mouse and then you just slide it over and it'll cut it a little bit. But see that might have cut it too much. So what you want to do is you if you want a finer cut to smaller fractions of a second is you just put click the plus key right here. And that will just change the intervals of seconds shown at the top on the timeline. So I'm going to play my vi video from the beginning. Start this at the beginning of the clip. And here we have our title. A sample clip with our subtitle. And there's just a butterfly. Alright. Um, last thing. It's just simple. Titles and credits again. And I'm going to show you how to do credits at the end. Like, if you film made a film, a short movie, you can show who was in it, um, and who they played as, and just simple credits that you see in movies. At the top, you can type anything simple, like cast is often seen, and that'll be shown really big. And actually, if you notice how fast that rolls by, you might want that a little slower. So we go to title animation. You know what? Actually, actually, never mind. All right, we're gonna go back here. Um, so it starts as cast. Slowed down a little bit. Um, start cast, and in our video we have butterfly. And this shows what character they were playing, or who's playing the character, and you can put which character they're playing over here. Butterfly as the star of the show. And me. I'm narrating. Alright, so as you can see over here, you can just play around with it. it. It's pretty simple. And that's about it. Once you add your credits, they will come in the last storyboard box. And you can add a transition if you'd like, and or more clips. Alright, so, happy filmmaking. Thanks for watching. The end.